Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, this is the third video in the series Moderate Beginners. In this uh, video, we will try to accomplish this part here. But if you look carefully, you will see that there are many similarities between this part and the second uh, video, which is Moderate Beginner number two. So I will ask you to, I will prefer you before you watch this video, it's to, to make sure that you watch moderate beginner number two i will uh, continue with the uh, and uh, showing how to do the section uh, because this is one of the main things in the uh, mechanical drawings and uh, also at the same time the, the but the other stuff i leave it for you to watch it in the uh, video number two and if you have any question or any recommendation uh, put it in the comment i need to do this part here the one on the uh, right and to do this part, I have the top projection, here it is, and here is a front projection, and I have a, a section right side view, so a section here at AA here. And I will do the section again, because it's, as I mentioned, that it's one of the main uh, mechanical engineering drawings. To start this one, I need to start, actually, to lock myself to what? To the top plane. Why? So I can start drawing this sketch here, I have three circles by center and another circle here at a, uh, on a circle uh, is mainly has a diameter there is just 25 so the diameter is 50 and then we'll add to it these two concentric circles here one is 5 and the other one is 14 and so let's go to the solid edge and show you how to to get the, the part the first thing is since I'm going to start with circle by center and if you look carefully here in this drawing, I need to draw these three concentric circles and the other one here. And then once I finish and put label them, lock them, and then I'm going to do the two circles here, the 5 and the 14, and correct the distance, which is the distance 30 from the center here. To start, I need to start by creating the central circles. So first I need to lock myself to the top plane. So I'm going to click on one of the drawing tools. So click on circle by center. Once you click on the circle by center, this will reveal the projection planes. I need to lock myself to the top plane. So I'm going to touch one of the uh, line in the top plane. When I see the lock, it starts flashing here. So I'm going to click on it. Once you click on it, it's, it will be uh, displayed in the upper right corner you see f3 here means i'm locked to the top plane so now let's go to the top plane here is the top now let's go to start the concentric circles so i have the first one 24 30 36 and 50 so 24 30 36 okay so let's go to solid edge and make the first circle is what? 24. 24. So take the circle, come to the center exactly. Once you see the center became orange, click. And let's get the second circle. Okay, the so second circle is the radius is 30. So I'm gonna put 30. I'll go again, come to exactly the center. When you see the orange, I'm gonna click. The next one is 36. So I'm going to put 36 and get, come put it exactly on the center. So I got these three uh, circles and let me put the 50. So I'm going to click here on the uh, diameter, make it 50. I'm exactly in the center here and click. Let me lock the dimension. Okay, so now I'm going to go to uh, smart dimension. This should be 50, this should be 36, and this should be 30, and the last one is 24. Try to draw the center here, the circle here 5, and the, uh, the other circle is radius 7, so it's going to be 14, 5 and 14, okay. So I'm going to go to the edge again. And we're going to say, okay, circle by center. The first one here is 5. Okay, I'm going to put 5. 
touch the center and go along the, the dashed center line and put somewhere here. So I'm going to put it anywhere I want. Okay. How do I know that they are it is located along the center line or the vertical axis? Uh, you see the dashed red line and there you see the plus sign. Okay. And uh, the other circle is 14. So I'm going to put 14. And touch this circle so you can reveal the center. And then when I see concentric, I'm going to click. Now let's lock the dimension and maintain the relation. So, okay, so this should be 14. And this should be 5. So we already locked the dimension and the only thing I need to correct the location between the center of these of these two circles and the center of these concentric circles here. So let me go use a distance between, distance between. So if I click at any circle here and any circle in the other group, it will give me the distance from the center to the other center. So okay, let me do that. So I'm going to click on this one, this circle and click on this circle and this will give me the distance I need to put this distance 30 so I'm gonna put 30 here enter click enter and make it 30 now look at the top two circles you see that they're gonna move together because they are locked okay together so enter so everything moved together okay the uh, next step is to create this curve here okay so so this I can get this one between this is by using a tangent circle and this tangent should be tangent to this circle here the 14 and the 50 okay so the radius is 8 so the diameter is 16 so I'm gonna go to solid edge and choose and instead of a circle by uh, circle by center I'm gonna choose tangent circle and this should be what 14, I think. A 16. Okay, so we go through the edge and both the diameter is 16. How to make it tangent to both of them? So you just you click at any point on one of the circle here, the circle, this one. So now I created the, the circle here, and then I come slowly till I it is tangent to the other circle so i'm going to click so this way the tangent for both of them let me repeat it again i will say that it is 16. yes 16 okay so i'm good the diameter 16. touch one of the circle so now the circle created is created and now it will come slowly till I see that it is touching the other one. Okay, just one moment. You see the tangent, tan uh, the, the symbol tangent. I'm gonna click. So now it is tangent to both circle. How do I know? Because of the circle here and the circle here. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the trim, get rid of this extra thing here, and get rid of this extra thing here. Okay and also get rid of anything inside here click and click this one okay and click this one so i succeeded to get the sketch the right sketch and we are ready to move forward with the extrusion so now let's make sure that okay so the, the dimensions looks good and everything looks perfect so let me go to home And if you look carefully to the sketch, the drawing, the height here is four millimeters. So I'm going to start with the outside shape, uh, which is four millimeters. So I'm going to get extrusion four. And then the next one here is extrusion 12. And the last one, the, the inner one is, is extrusion 16. So let's do that. Okay, so let's go to the edge. Okay. I'm going to select, uh, notice that I'm in synchronous technology, I'm going to use the select, just, I'm just to click at any point inside the shape here. So it's going to go up, 
I need I don't need symmetry it's just plus and I go up how much four so I'm gonna say this just need to be go up four I'm gonna put four and very good notice something here the sketch disappeared so let me go to this new sketch the sketch uh, use the sketches click on the sketch here right click say restore so to restore so I can start the other uh, circles here okay now the next one is is the circle here so I'm going to click inside you see I'm in select in the mode click in a point between the two circle here and then you go up plus instead of minus I need a plus add and no symmetry just to go in one direction and then click on the arrow and this arrow will go up I'm going to say 12 very good again we'll do it okay now the next step is I need to click on the other circle inside the last one so I'm going to click since I'm in select mode click a point here and it should be plus again and also the height is how much is 16 okay so I'm going to give the 16 so go to edge plus or not symmetry so click on the arrow to go up and I'm gonna put 16 so I was able to get the shape okay <laughs> now two 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 main things I would like to to, to 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 do before I move forward so if you look to the draft here uh, there is a curvature here so there is a round here how much this round is two millimeter I believe yeah here it is the radius two millimeter okay so let's do the round go to solid edge uh, click on round and you choose this circle here and it is already two millimeter because uh, the last time I did it, it was two millimeters so automatically I will use if, if you need to change it just to change it type two millimeter okay so we got this one correct, say okay, or escape. What else we need to do? Okay, oh, I need to look uh, to look from the top plane. Okay, so I'll go to the top plane. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to make a pattern. This, you see this part here, I draw it here. I need to repeat it four times. If you look careful here in the drawing, it is four, one, two, three, Oh, okay so now let's go to solid edge and say that I need to highlight this uh, wing here whatever you want to call it okay once it is highlighted go to pattern choose circular pattern and the way to do it is just you move slowly slowly till you touch a central circle for this for this pattern so this will be a good circle candidate wait till it becomes concentric once it is concentric you click you click and it say count four yes this is what i need so four is acceptable if you want to change it you can put six you can put five you can put whatever number you want and then then you accept it okay so i got the shape and i got everything so now we got the, the part okay so we were able to finish the part in a very quick and efficient way okay uh, so the next step is to save it and so we can go to the draft sheet okay so I'm gonna say save as uh, instead I'm gonna say this is a uh, moderate cons moderate beginners mm. I'm gonna call it like version 2 or something like that version 2 okay say save okay why because we're gonna use it for the draft sheet okay so we got the part and we save it one of the things I uh, some people ask me also how you can get my this nice looking part it's okay so so this you have to 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 try different uh, material uh, 
So in this part, actually, it is drawn in uh, material. I used material chrome. I found that when you do it in chrome, it comes very nice. Okay. So just again, let me show you what how to do it in solid edge. So before I go and just you go in under view here, view, color manager. It will open here. It tell you that the part is model model default. No. I'm gonna expand this one and it choose whatever I want, okay? So I prefer Chrome, so I'm gonna go to Chrome. You can do aluminum, you can do whatever you wanna do, okay? But again, it's it's your choice. You can try and maybe if you find better looking. Then. So I choose Chrome and I say, okay. Now it is saved as a Chrome, so I'm gonna save it. Save, okay. Okay, once I save it in Chrome, it's going to show the, show you that how it looks a nice shiny on the draft sheet. Okay, let me go to the draft sheet now. So let me go back here. New. And symmetric. I am in the unsymmetric uh, for place. Instead of unsymmetric, uh, this is for assembly. This is for weld welding. And this is for uh, the drawing part. This is for the sheet metal. And I need the one for draft. So I'm going to click on the draft. And it's unsymmetric. Metric. So say, and say, okay. So now we are starting to do the draft sheet. Okay. The, the, the draft sheet here is the default is size D. So I would like to change it to size B. So I'm going to click on sheet under background. And instead of D sheet, Expand it and it choose P sheet. I say okay. It comes smaller, so I make it fit. So now it is fit. The next step is to get view wizard. Click on the view wizard so I can bring the projection. So click on view wizard. It will realize where did I save the, the, the file. So we remember it. So click on the file and I say open. So when it open it open here so what i'm going to do i'm just i'm going to put it here somewhere here so this is the front plane and this is the top plane and this is the isometric okay so i'm going to put it here somewhere here okay if you if you look carefully i wouldn't draw the uh, the, the side right side projection because i need to do the section okay so there is no need for that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'll go back here, select, I'm gonna select this uh, part. And in the menu here, under shading option, click on it and they choose the last one, which is grayscale shade. Okay. And then go back to the draw, the, the, the part or the projection here, right click and say what update. When you ask for update, it will, come in the chrome color okay and this is how you get it the shiny and so on but okay okay i mean this is your taste okay so i got this one in the chrome part now i need to do the section for this uh, uh, shape here so to do the sectioning so there are two steps the first step is to create the cutting plane and the next step is to do the section so first i'm going to click on the cutting plane Click on the cutting plane. Once you click on the cutting plane, you need to identify which shape I need to do the cutting plane. So I'm going to click on this one. So I like this one. Okay, I, I clicked on this one. Now I need to go here and try to reveal some features so I know that where I am located. So now I'm located in along the center, the vertical center line. So I'm going to start from here. Click. Once you click, you have the line. And then you go vertical. I go vertical when I see the symbol vertical and stop or a distance similar to the one at the top. Click and then right click to get out. And then when you say close cutting plane, I click on close cutting plane. Once you close it, it will show arrow. Because the mouse was to the right, it will give you the arrow to the right. Now, if you want to make it to the left, you move it to the left. Okay, so it's up to your choice. Okay. So I need this section now. To do the next section is, so we did the cutting plane, uh, the AA, okay. Now, underneath of it, there is 
something called section click on the section when you click on the section okay so now I want to go to the to the section click on the section and since the section is in uh, in this direction so I'm gonna uh, put it here next between the two section between the the top projection and the isometer so I'm gonna put it somewhere here okay good enough okay so we created the section AA and let me move the, uh, the thing so it can use this area for the dimension so I'm gonna move this one down a little bit okay and then we can say okay uh, smart dimension make the default the, the font size is 2 text scale 2 so when I click on this one this should be 4 good okay and the other one here from this to the edge here to the line here so this is the 14 at the 12 sorry and I want to get this one from the edge here to the top edge here this should be the 16 very good okay what else okay now we need to put the dimensions here so I'm gonna click on this one the radius here is seven the phi here the diameter here is five good the diameter here or the radius here is eight and the diameter here is 25 we know that and then let me get this one so this one is 36 and this 30 and the last one is 24 down in the middle here 24 very good okay and the distance from the center okay let me do it from the center here to the center here is 60. Very good. what else so i think we got everything now and the radius this radius is two okay the curvature here mm, okay so this is the curve. now the uh, if you want to learn how to do the changing the the the, the, the title or whatever or the in the template uh, this was covered in uh, 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 complete moderate uh, video number two okay so i will leave it you to watch it how to to do the change you have to go to the background and the change the the, the the things in the background now uh, let me type the name of the uh, lab so i'm going to click on the text the menu will open i choose uh, bold and the font is 1.75 and i'm going to type it somewhere anywhere here so i'm going to say this is moderate beginners And this is number three. I use select so I can highlight it, so I can select it. Once you see the the, the plus, I'm gonna bring it, click on it, and just move it to be somewhere here. Okay. Let me adjust it to be exactly in the middle. very good okay that's good now let me save it as a uh, mod uh, the at uh, the <clears throat> draft sheet so we're going to say save as and automatically it will be named the same name of the part but under draft domain okay so i'm going to say save so this will end the session or for this video and i hope that you like and uh, uh, first I would like to thank you for watching the video and I will really appreciate your feedback and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel click the bell and give it a thumb up have a wonderful day
and see you soon on the fourth video of the modern game. Bye bye.